Okay, hello and welcome to this video about my art station challenge here. I'm not going to talk about it too much. I'm just going to jump straight into the steps that I'm making at the minute to convert this into a block out. Uh, in some cases, I actually just model a mesh like these ones up here, just model them in the 3D software. Um, but when it comes to actually blocking out the environment, it's a lot easier to use cubes. So I just, in this scene here, say the floor is just a stretched cube from the level prototyping content which is part of uh, the default scene if you start it up with a 3D character or whatever. Um, so that's inside your folder here. Um, and then rather than a ramp I've used uh, a BSP so uh, Google BSP if you don't already know about those. Um, and the main workflow here or what we do is we take the, in my case, it's just a stretch cube. So what we want to retain is that cube scale. Um, so we just go to Tools, Merge Actors, and we save this as a temporary asset. So for me, I've created a temp folder here. I'm going to call it um, Floor uh, Main for now, just Floor Main. It's not the final name, it's just something so I know what it is because it could be the same as roof part, you know, all this sort of stuff is getting changed and it's definitely not the final name. Uh, in the case of these walls here, I've got them in two parts like this. Maybe I want them together, so when I go to Tools and Merge Actor, I've got two things selected while both of them come in together. So I go into Temp, and I might call this just... Stairs Wall. Um, or it could be easier in the case of these stairs to just model it as a one big object and I've used a BSP here as the steps so we're going to need to convert that to static mesh. When we look at our general settings on the BSP we drop down advanced because we're not selecting the whole actor it doesn't recognize it in the merge actors tool so instead there's a create static mesh button as part of the BSP so we'll do create actor, we'll do temp, and you know that looks like a pretty good name to be fair. Just create static mesh, it's already converted to static mesh, and we will just be cool with that. So whether it's too, it looks like my BSP was going through the wall there. Uh, maybe actually that just means that I can bring these walls away very slightly. And yes, yeah, so then uh, I'll do that later. Inside here, I just go File, Import, FBX, and we'll go for, you know, um, oh no, sorry, yeah, that's right, I need to export them first. So right-click the stairs here, um, Asset Actions, and uh, let's go Export. We'll put that into the correct folder, which is going to be um, stairs, I guess. A new folder. Again, while I could give it the proper name there, I'm treating it as temp mesh. And then I'd merge all this, or I'm going to move all that over while it's on my mind. And so let's grab, change my movement settings here. There we go. If I had the room there, I might as well do it. Um, and yeah. So now the uh, the process is just to go into here, import that mesh. So we've got stairs imported, and then to go in and be like, right, well, press Alt J to just sort them out. Um, it's not looking great because these have all been separated in a way that's not great. So it's clean up, um, but I can start adding some more detailed things in here. So if I want the edges of the steps to be like ramps. Well, let's do that, and we'll go in there and we'll do our proper modeling um, to to improve the quality of that lockout. So you know, clearly there's a lot more work there than I'm going to in this video, but uh, so that's how it kind of goes. And I'll just at this point also be sorting out my folders within Blender. And yeah, save that, and we've 
you know, uh, we've got stairs to the correct aspect that we're working with in, in the engine. So I hope that helps. That's everything I want to cover and I'll see you in the next one.